So the business study certificate is a post-secondary level certificate of achievement. So what post-secondary means is that we share courses with some full-time diploma students or programs rather. So this curriculum is designed to educate learners in general topics in business, such as law, economics, marketing, and financial accounting. So the very basics. Uh, this program can pathway, like I said, into our full-time diploma programs, and there are no prerequisites or admission requirements. So the delivery method. This is a part-time certificate, so it's flexible to your schedule. We do offer courses every term, and a term means 14 weeks long, so September to December, January to April, and May to August. Our summer term is actually coming to a close this week, which is very exciting. So our fall will be starting up relatively soon. Uh, so all six courses, I should say, pardon me, are delivered online asynchronously, meaning your faculty member will post certain markers that you need to meet each week in order to submit assignments and uh, see how far your knowledge has come over the 14 weeks. So you have to meet the weekly criteria criteria in order to fulfill uh, your grade requirement, if that makes sense. Yeah. So you can do it after work. If you're currently working, you can do it on weekends. It's totally flexible. Your faculty, you do have an opportunity to uh, communicate with your faculty through our learning module site, and they're always there via email. Uh, so no need to worry about that in case you're a little bit stuck on the curriculum. Do you have any questions? Anything like that? So the ideal learner, there's two types of learners that this program, uh, this certificate caters to. So the first would be entry level. If you're new to post-secondary, for example, a student who completed, and I'm talking about an Ontario student in this case, uh, if you completed your Ontario Secondary School Diploma and you're not quite sure if you want to go into post-secondary quite yet, this gives you a little taste of it. Uh, also for the folks re-entering the workforce, if you haven't worked in a certain uh, period of time and you want to develop skills for yourself in order to apply to certain jobs, then these courses would definitely be for you. And the next type of student we have is the upgrading student. So if you currently are in a role and you want to, let's say, get more into the law aspects of it and to know the bare minimum or the economic side of it, uh, that's what these courses are here for. So it'll help you open up some career options, which also leads to some professional development opportunities, whether that's within your institution of work or just in general, great thing to post on LinkedIn that you're constantly developing your learning. So this is a curriculum. So there's six compulsory courses needed to fulfill the requirements. Uh, you can take these courses in any order you'd like at whatever time you like. So given the three semesters, I'm pretty sure we do offer them every term. Don't quote me on that, but it will be on our website. Uh, so this is it. So we have a financial accounting. We have a microeconomics, PC business essentials. Then we have the business law, an introduction to business and marketing fundamentals. So some folks who do start this certificate, they'll take the introduction to business first if they don't have any formal background, but it's up to you on what you want to take. Uh, and you, again, you can go in any order. There's no prerequisites for any of these courses. So we also offer some diploma pathways. So like I said before, this is a post-secondary certificate. What that means is we share courses with the diplomas. So once you successfully complete the certificate, the courses taken can transfer over into either three of these certificates, uh, diplomas, sorry, business administration, business management, and business marketing. You would have to apply for the full-time programs, however. So you would apply through Ontario colleges and select courses from your first and second semester can be applied. So the, out of the six courses you've taken, they can satisfy some of your semester one or two requirements once you have been accepted into the full-time diploma. If you have more questions about that, you can always speak to our admissions team as well as our registration team. They will help you with the course specifics. I will go over some of the course websites in a bit just to show you kind of what they look like. So this is what the diploma would look like. Sorry, this is business marketing, another one of our very popular programs. So the diplomas usually start at two years, uh, but they can be three years. That's considered an advanced diploma. So just by looking at this, this is kind of what it would look like. Again, there's the application uh, portion. There's information for the program coordinator. If you wanted to go ahead uh, after completion of this certificate to apply to the 
um, diploma. But basically what we're looking at here is these courses. So the six courses are PC Bu Business Essentials, Introduction to Business, and Marketing Fundamentals. So all you would have to take in your first semester would be a business math, mathematics and finance, a general elective, which is an introduction to arts and science, and a writ or a college reading and writing. Then from your second semester, you can see that from the certificate, you would have satisfied the financial accounting one, the microeconomics, and the business law portion of it. So all you would have to take would be uh, principles management, consumer services, and a second writing course. When it comes to your third or fourth semester, those are more specified to what type of diploma you wanted to uh, obtain. So for example, this is the business marketing. It's more focused on marketing courses. Uh, for example, if we have our business administration diploma, it's focused on a lot of HR stuff as well as marketing. Uh, I think there's a couple other law courses in there. So it just depends on what you want to uh, specify in, but pretty much the first two semesters will be uh, halfway done for you in that sense. So fees and costs. So each, because this is on a course by course basis, rather, uh, your tuition would be uh, on a course by course basis. So they vary on the amount of hours in each for each course, rather. So for this certificate, they're all three hour courses and three hour courses, meaning three hours of study time roughly per week. Uh, give or take the material and how often you want to complete the self-taught stuff. Um, it really depends on you, but we say a count three hours per week for these courses. Uh, and that would be 42 hours over a 14 week period. And they do have a reading week in the middle uh, of the semesters. So course materials such as textbooks, software, additional costs uh, that'll be outlined in your course outlines which the faculty will share with you on the first day of classes uh, or in this case on the learning module site which is blackboard and that'll outline basically all learning outcomes it will highlight any uh, materials you need such as textbooks which there's two different types required and supplemental supplemental you don't really need but required is definitely what you need uh, and you are required to follow this course outline it's considered a legally binding document it has all the important information there uh, if you want I can always pull one up and show you kind of the breakdown and what to look at it also gives you the grading scheme breakdown so for example how much your assignments are worth how much uh, discussions are worth etc so now we're going to talk about final exams and proctoring. So final exams are held on campus during the final week of classes. So what I mean by on campus is at the North Campus, since that's where we're based of, out of, and your faculty will announce that closer to the uh, time, usually about a month out roughly. Uh, if you live over 100 kilometers away from the North Campus, you can set up a proctor, which comes at a fee to you, which is about $100 per exam, or you can write it at another post-secondary institution uh, near you. However, you would have to set that up and then we can send your exam there. And I'm not sure if there would be costs associated with this, uh, as long as it's another recognized post-secondary institution. So for example, Seneca College, uh, you can definitely write it in their test center. And that's all I have for today, relatively fast. So if you have any questions, you can ask me right now. If not, you can feel free to enjoy the rest of your day. Um, are these classes online? Yes, so they would all be online self-taught, meaning you're not meeting face-to-face -face with an instructor such as we are right now. Uh, so there's no designated class time. There's no designated day of the week you need to do stuff on. Uh, it would be kind of flexible to your schedule and when you wanted to do, let's say, week one. You don't have to always do it on the Monday. You can do it on the Thursday. You can do it on the Saturday if you wanted to. Uh, there will be due dates in place for specific assignments and stuff like that, but that'll be outlined again in the course outline and the faculty will share that information with you.